students, my name is Dr. Richard Allington. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to History 1110, uh, the first half of our survey of the history of the United States here at Eastern New Mexico University. And in this course, we're going to study the history of the United States from the origins of North America all the way through 1876 and the end of the period of Reconstruction. Um, this, uh, to me, is a fascinating uh, topic. The story uh, of the discovery of the New World uh, by Europeans, um, the establishment of colonies, the struggles they endured, the visions that they had, the creation of a new nation, uh, of a nation that was a thoroughly unique in many ways at the time, but which has been hugely influential in the development of political theory and new nations throughout the world. And then the ongoing debates um, about how this new nation should be governed. And so I'm really excited about the class. Uh, I'm really excited to be working with all of you. And in this video, I just want to give you an introduction to the course, an introduction of how to find everything that you'll need in order to be successful. Firstly, here you have my office hours um, and uh, you have uh, my contact information at uh, the head of the home page as we begin the course. Um, I strongly encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity to uh, reach out to me and talk to me uh, whenever you need help with anything in the class. As a history class, uh, each week builds on the next. And so if you're not quite sure um, of the material and the takeaways you should have at the end of each week, you will probably struggle. You'll almost certainly struggle the next week. And so it's very important to talk to you. I'm willing to be very flexible in... Um, in the different mediums that I use to talk with you and the different times of day uh, when I meet with you. I have these office hours here, um, eight hours a week as a guideline, but I'm more than happy to uh, talk with you even outside of regular business hours. However, best to accommodate your schedule and work with you. So I do encourage you to take advantage uh, of this. Moving down, we have the introductory video um, that you're watching right now. And so if you're doing that, you're doing the first thing that, that you should be doing. So you're on the right track. So after you watch this video, uh, we have the syllabus here. Please read the syllabus carefully. Um, it has more detailed information than I can provide in a video which tells you about the different assignments that you're going to be following uh, throughout the class, how they work together to accomplish our learning objectives in this course, uh, and how they form uh, your grade. Uh, so please take time to read the syllabus carefully, to understand the structure of the course, to understand the schedule of assignments. Um, here we have uh, the student help discussion board. Uh, we're going to have a lot of discussion boards in this class, but this one is more informal. It's there so that if you have a question about the class, you can post it to the discussion board, as you will have seen from my contact information. Um, on weekdays, I'll answer your questions within 24 hours, but it's possible that one of your classmates is online, sees your question, can answer your question even more quickly and efficiently than I can. So I put that there um, in order to enable you to, to help one another. Uh, oftentimes, students find that's very helpful. So know where the student help discussion board is. Uh, read the syllabus. So these are the things you need to be doing. Watching the video that you're watching right now, one, one down already, uh, reading the syllabus carefully, completing the participation agreement. Uh, this is really important because oftentimes it's tied to the release of financial aid that I can report to the register that you're, registrar that you're participating in the class. So please complete the participation agreement as soon as you can. More resources before we come to uh, content. Right at the bottom of the screen here, you'll see information and resources that the university provides to all students. In this folder, which I want to concentrate on for the moment, you have help videos that I provided. I hope these will be useful to you. 
Um, I use examples from different courses, but they are tutorials or guides that I've provided to the different assignments that you'll find in this class. So we'll have journals and discussion boards, we'll have writing assignments and essays. And so I encourage you to watch these videos in order to get a sense of how I would recommend going about uh, carrying out these assignments um, and uh, the sort of expectations that I have uh, for the work that you turn in for these assignments. Okay, so we're going to go back to the home page now. That's kind of most of the resources that are available. Over here, you'll see My Grades. That's where you can go to check your grade. Um, and then this is the tab that you're going to want most, Weekly Modules. Now. If you scroll down the home page, you see that you can also access weekly modules here. So it's very easy either way. Click into weekly modules, and we find each week I've divided, I've divided the assignments up into the weeks in which they're due. Um, and you can see that in this class, uh, material is typically due, is always due on a Saturday. So keep that in mind. As you come in towards the end of the week, uh, you've got a little bit of time uh, on the weekend, but you don't have the whole weekend. And I, my experience is this is the way um, to give people who find it difficult to get work done during the week, the opportunity to get done, work done during the weekends, uh, but to prevent the weekends from kind of just drifting away and, and not being used. So I hope this is helpful. So on the particular week, you'll click into the module. I'm going to use week two because week one is a little different because there's a lot of just kind of getting to know each other. Generally, it's a lighter week. But week two, as we click into it here, it's all about the discovery, the origins of the American continent. Um, this gives you everything that you need to complete during the week. So first, you, we have the agenda here. This is what you need. You're going to have some videos to watch. You're going to have a PowerPoint to view. You're going to have uh, some textbook reading. Some mashup videos from YouTube that I provided, quiz, discussion, writing assignment, and a journal entry. And here I provided a suggested schedule. You certainly don't have to do this, but I'm just providing it as a guide. Um, if you follow this schedule, um, you will still have uh, your weekend to work on reading for your paper or other long term projects um, or just for kicking back. Um, I'm very much ballparking this. This is something, this suggested schedule is somewhat new. Uh, so these are the times that I think it will take you to uh, complete these assignments. Um, but I'm always interested to know how accurate I'm being. So if you can give me a, 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 any kind of feedback on whether I need to say to allow more time for different assignments or less time, that would be great. I'd be very happy to hear from you. Um, so everything is here in a suggested uh, schedule. And here you have your videos, the lecture videos that I've provided on different topics. PowerPoint, you click and then it'll be available to download. The textbook reading, the textbook's not accessible here. You have to buy the textbook. Um, but once you've bought the textbook, uh, this is just to tell you which chapter of the textbook you should be reading each week. Um, and then we have some videos from YouTube. One of the great things about online classes is that I can bring a bunch of other different perspectives um, and ideas into the classroom uh, from different people across the world. And so I encourage you, um, well, it's required uh, that you watch these videos. Um, it's to give you an extra layer on top of the textbook reading, the PowerPoint, my videos, um, to give you as full a picture of the different topics that we're uh, that we're looking at as possible. So, a number of these videos, but they're all pretty short. I don't really give you anything over about six minutes or so. Uh, and then by this point, you've uh, you will have looked at all the lecture material uh, that we have for today. So or for this week, and so now you'll take a quiz. You can take these quizzes three times. Um, and uh, they're just on material from PowerPoints uh, and from the textbook reading. Um, so uh, you have three opportunities to get full points, uh, so definitely take advantage of that. Um, and then when we go further down, we come to uh, discussion. 
Um, and this will be true of every week. Every week you'll have mashup videos, a PowerPoint, my lecture videos, a quiz, a discussion, and a journal. And then every other week you'll have an essay. And so that with the discussion, uh, you'll have sources to read from uh, our source book. So we've got two books in this class, textbook and the source book, reading the American past. You read these documents from the source book and there'll be two each week. Oftentimes I've chosen a picture to analyze. Uh, and then you answer one of the study questions in the book at the end of each source from uh, each of the different sources. So one from one, 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 and one from two, two. And then you have to post your own responses before viewing the other student responses. Um, and then you have to comment on two other student posts in order to gain full credit. Uh, to access the discussion, simply click here. It'll take you through to the discussion board. Click here and then go ahead and create a thread. And then the last item here we have is a, a journal. There'll be a weekly journal each week. This is more a chance for you to reflect on the course, how you're doing, let me know uh, what you're enjoying, what challenges uh, you're facing. And I talk about this more in the help video on journals and discussion boards, so I encourage you to look there as well. Very good. I very much hope you enjoy the course. Um, please let me know if I can help you in any way. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to working with you.